Sydney FC welcomed the Sutherland Sharks to Lambert Park on Saturday night, with both sides coming off defeat last round. And the Sky Blues had the opening chance of the match, Jeremy Cox finding Cameron Devlin, but Ryan Norville saved well. And 10 minutes later, the Sharks went one better, Ryugu Siyama skipping past two Sydney FC defenders before firing home 1-0. The Sky Blues sprang into their search for an equaliser, Sam McGillhatton finding Cox, but his header went over the bar. And Cox would go close again just minutes later, but his header slid wide again. Then Jerry Skodati should have levelled when he surged through the middle to find the goal opening up in front of him, but he hesitated at the edge of the box, curling a weak shot wide. Next, the Sharks were desperately unlucky not to extend their lead. Adrian Vranich took the ball at the top of the area and spun to send his volley crashing against the woodwork. Then a poor challenge from Patrick Flotman upended Josh De Silva near the edge of the Sydney FC area, inviting the Sharks in once again. But Jacob Tratt's free kick curled just past the near post, a let off for the Sky Blues. Jordan Swivel was unlucky not to reach a dangerous ball from Cox, as the Sky Blues continued their search to get back on level terms. And the Sky Blues' final chance for an equaliser fell to Jerry Skodatis, who collected the ball in a pocket of space on the left side of the box and fired off a low shot, which Norville gathered well. And the Sharks iced the contest in the final minute when Leroy Jennings muscled his way through the back line and hit a clean shot under the advancing duo Dragosevic to seal the game for Sutherland. So a solid display from the Sharks as they find themselves back in the winner's circle, 2-0 it finished.